Welcome to this demo for the Mira Security Encrypted Traffic Orchestrator, also known as the ETO. In this short video, I'll be showing you how you can use the ETO to not just allow your threat visibility tools to detect malicious traffic, but also to block that traffic entirely. As you can see in this network diagram, I have the ETO in network inline with the FireEye appliance inline as well. That means that the ETO will be directly between our test client and the internet. It will actively decrypt SSL connections and send the traffic to FireEye for traffic monitoring and threat prevention, then re-encrypt it and send it on to the destination. I will generate test traffic by downloading the iCar test virus. This will simulate a user downloading a malicious file or visiting a malicious website. Since the traffic will be encrypted with SSL, we should see our IPS miss the file when it's hidden with an encryption and block the file when that traffic is decrypted. For the first test, I already have the policy set to bypass mode. The traffic does pass through it, but it is not decrypted or re-signed. It is functionally just a wire in this instance. The traffic does get sent to FireEye, but it is the encrypted traffic. For the second test, I will set the ETO policy to universal decryption. This will decrypt all traffic in an SSL connection and re-encrypt it before sending it on to the destination. The traffic it sends to our IPS will be decrypted and plain text. As you can see, at the start of this test, there are currently 12 alerts. Keep this in mind for later parts. Now we'll go over to our test client, open our browser, and go to the iCar site to download the test file. Like I mentioned earlier, this will simulate the malicious traffic that a user wouldn't notice, so it's IT's job to notice it. As we can see, the file downloaded. Let's check our appliances and see how they did. If we go back to the ETO and go to the SSL session logs, we can see in the action column that it is bypassing that traffic. The ETO isn't decrypting anything and that traffic that FireEye is receiving is still fully encrypted. When we refresh FireEye, there are no alerts despite the fact that we downloaded a test file that it should have been able to detect. This is because the data is encrypted and the IPS is not decrypting it. Many security visibility tools can in fact decrypt SSL. However, even if an appliance can decrypt SSL, there are a couple reasons you may want to have a dedicated appliance just for decryption. First of all, having your inline security appliance also handling decryption may decrease possible throughput and performance. Offloading that job to another appliance can possibly allow for greater network performance. Another reason is that you may want that decrypted data to go to other devices. If the decryption is done on a security visibility tool such as an IPS, then it can only be used on that device. And you certainly don't want multiple devices decrypting the same traffic, so you can use the ETO to decrypt the traffic once and feed it to many different devices. Now that we've seen that our IPS can't detect and block threats in encrypted traffic, let's turn on decryption and see what happens. We'll select the decryption segment and click Activate. The policy applied to this segment is set to Universal Decrypt. It will decrypt and re-encrypt traffic between the client and server to access the unencrypted plain text which will be sent to our IPS. Let's go back over to our test client. We'll go back to the iCar test file download site. I click download, but we can see that the file did not download at all and our browser shows that it was unable to reach the destination. When we go to the ETO logs, it shows the action as re-signing. This means that it was decrypting the traffic. And when we go to our FireEye appliance, we can see that it did detect the traffic and blocked it. As you were able to plainly see, the ETO allowed our IPS to properly monitor all traffic that was coming through by decrypting SSL connections. Leaving that traffic encrypted is leaving yourself blind to the threats it may contain. We just saw it work in inline mode with an IPS, however it can work just as well in passive mode with an IDS. If you have multiple security appliances, you can serve those other devices the decrypted traffic through mirror ports, as I mentioned before, while only having to decrypt it once and only on one device. For any more information, please check out mirrorsecurity.com, where you can find more about the ETO as well as a contact us button at the top of the page.